in today's video i want to teach you 10 marketing elements that you can use to start making instant sales on amazon kdp this is a snippet from the revamped course you know i'm revamping my course with over 60 new videos you know from when i started the course last year till now a lot of things have changed on amazon so i'm also changing and blending with the wave i've started recreating all the videos from beginning and i'll soon be done as soon as i'm done i'm going to launch the course at a slightly increased price but for everyone who is already in my mentorship you don't need to pay any extra you are going to gain access to the course instantly as soon as it is launched but after the launch we're going to increase the price so now i want to show you some of the things for you to have an idea of what you meet in that course i'm not supposed to be doing this though but let me just do it for you my online cousins i want to show you 10 things that if you put them in the right order you will start making sales 24 to 48 hours after your book goes live let's get started so the first thing on my list here is keyword research number one get your keywords right well i can't say this enough if you want to do kdp successfully the only winning formula you have is to understand keyword research and in this mentorship course i have about 10 videos that explains keywords from niche research straight down to the seven back-end keywords you would understand everything so if you want to do your keyword research on amazon you need to be meticulous about it you need to be sure that people are looking for this book that you want to write about if you write a book that people are not searching for you will not make sales because people only buy what they search so you need to be sure that people are looking for this particular keyword before you even start writing about it and if you get your keywords right before you even finish your book you yourself you go no say this book will sell so keyword research is a vital part of your kdp journey there are some free and paid tools to do your keyword research which i've explained some in the previous videos but some of them are amz suggestion expander ds amazon quick view product offer merch all these are the free versions but for the paid versions you need to have tools like publisher rocket book beam kd spy all these are very good tools and in my community there's a way to get them for very very affordable prices by using a group join by method two so, title and subtitle i can't emphasize this enough still on the keyword research issue your title must be specific look at this the complete air fryer cookbook for beginners you already know who this book is talking to everybody that have an air fryer or people that just got an air fryer or people that have an air fryer but want to start learning how to create delicious recipes using these air fryers so your title needs to be specific it needs to be channeled towards a category of people this is where niching down comes in so you don't want to have a vague title that does not have a direct channel it can also be the complete air fryer cookbook for seniors this means that these are elderly people who already have air fryers and then they want to start learning new recipes or delicious recipes to start making with your air fryers so these are two ways in which you can channel or you can arrange your titles so your title must be very very specific and it should be talking to a particular set of people one of the major problems we have is that we don't have a customer avatar we don't have a, an idea of who we are writing the book for we just go on amazon pick any title or we think about the title in our head and then we just go straight to writing it no you need to have an idea of the people you want to write for you need to have an idea of what they are doing at the moment you need to have an idea of where they are okay the location and then you finally need to have an idea of the kind of things that can resonate or relate with them imagine somebody that wants to buy an air fryer or wants to buy an air fryer recipe book and then they just got the air fryer newly okay when they go on amazon and they search air fryer cookbook or air fryer recipes and then your book shows up this for beginners that you are seeing would pass a message to them that remember that you just got your air fryer so you are a beginner so all the recipes in this book are for people who just got their air fryers 
But if you do it for seniors, this time is going to be for elderly people or people who already have an air fryer, but they never have delicious recipes or they just want to start learning how to make delectable recipes with these air fryers or delectable meals with these air fryers. You need to be talking to a particular section or segment of people. This is why, apart from getting a title, you also need to niche it down to focus on the people you are talking to. This takes us to subtitles. Subtitle is to buttress your title. Whatever you said in your title, your subtitle is going to talk more about it such that the person who is reading it has an insight on what you're talking about. This one says 2,000 plus days of quick and flavorful recipes for effortless cooking and wholesome meals. Unleash the potential of your air fryer. Now, get what this person said. 2,000 days of quick and flavorful recipes although recently amazon released a statement that they don't want people manipulating the system like this this person is trying to manipulate the system by saying 2000 days of quick and flavorful recipes that 2000 days please don't use anything like that it was in the past that this person created this book if you do that now there's high tendency your book will be blocked so stop putting anything like 2000 days you can put the number of recipes which i don't even advise you to do stop putting the number of recipes just say delicious or quick and easy or delectable recipes i can just start from quick and flavorful recipes now you're telling this person that you are a beginner but inside this book you will see quick and flavorful recipes with effortless cooking you see which means that they are easy instead of writing quick and easy this person used quick and flavorful and now use another word to explain that they are easy to make which is effortless cooking you're not going to stress yourself and wholesome meals okay you see that instead of writing delicious meals or delectable meals which you can and still write this is saying these meals are wholesome you know what a wholesome meal means it is not just delicious it is also healthy that's what this word is trying to pass now unleash the potential of your air fryer this is trying to tell you that that air fryer that you have in your kitchen come and see a lot of things that it can do even things you never know or you didn't believe that it can do come and unleash the potential the ability the capability or the capacity of this air fryer so that is for title and subtitle three attractive book cover design book cover is the first thing that people see when they search for the book title if somebody wants to buy any type of book or any type of thing on amazon what they search for is the name of that thing or whatever they think would bring their results their desired results if i want to buy a machine now i want to buy an iphone i go on amazon i will type the name of the iphone let's say iphone 15 pro max that is where the keyword comes in with a title and subtitle after i search a lot of sellers are selling this particular product a whole lot of them some can even run up to 1000 or 2000 people selling the same iphone 15. if i now search what will attract me to click on the ones i will click on to check them and check that description is their book title or their thumbnail for physical goods it is called thumbnail but for book it is called the book cover okay it is your book cover that would attract me to click after a lot of search results displays on my screen so if we go to amazon now and we search air fryer cookbook as a buyer I'll start looking at all these air fryer cookbooks from beginning. Look at this. Look at this simple air fryer cookbook. Air fryer cookbook. I'm looking at all of them one by one. The complete air fryer cookbook for beginners. You see, diabetic air fryer cookbook. Delish air fryer cookbook. I'll be looking at all of them like this. The ones that appeal to me the most are the ones I'll click. I can click to open three of them. Or I'll just look at this one and say, okay, this one has picture of different air fryer recipes. This one, the ultimate air fryer cookbook. I like the color scheme. I'll just look at it. So your book sales starts from the cover. If your cover is not fine and your book is 100% unique, well written and well formatted, there is high tendency or high possibility that you will not be making sales because what will even attract them to check the book or even click to buy in the first place is your book cover if you look at it now as all these book covers are displaying there's no way to click and buy nowhere you can click it to buy the only way you can now see the buy now button to click is when you click on the book 
For example, I like this one now. Let me just click on it. Once you click on it, it will open. Then when it opens, you now see the Ultimate Air Fryer Cookbook for Beginners. 109 detailed recipes under 700 calories with macros data for healthy, quick, affordable meals affected in minutes. You see that this one too is like saying what the other book we checked earlier said, but in a different way. As you can see, this one has 109 detailed recipes. This one is telling us the number of recipes in the book. Why the other one was telling us the number of days we can use to exhaust the recipes in the book. This one said under 700 calories. This one is trying to let us know that if you are looking for air fryer cookbook or air fryer recipes that have very low calories, this is the book for you. And it's saying that it is quick and affordable meals. It's trying to tell you that the ingredients in this book are affordable and easy to source ingredients and they are quick to make perfected in minutes can you see so whatever you said in your title your subtitle will buttress it but now the only thing that, that attracted us to click on this book is the 109 recipes and the color scheme i like you see that it has a lot of air fryer recipes displayed on the cover and then that is also the only way for you to click to buy. If you are looking at it directly from the full display, where all the pictures display, you cannot see where to buy. So the only way you can click to buy is to click the one that appeals to you that you would want to buy. Then when you click and open it, you now see the title, you see the subtitle, you can now see description and other details. And then you would now check, you see, paperback or Kindle. You can now click buy now, or add to cart if you want to buy more things or you just click buy now so when they click and they come into your interface which is your book interface this is where or book profile that is when they can click to buy but what will make them click in the first place number one is your title that made you appear in the search results and number two it is your attractive book covers that appeals to them out of all the book covers that displays i hope that is clear so your book cover has to be very attractive and beautiful if your book cover is not attractive don't bother uploading that book because you would not be making sales you'll be struggling to make sales so that is that for book covers four captivating description in everything you do make sure that your description is compelling and attention grabbing your description is like your sales page it is your mouthpiece where you are sleeping where you are absent what you do is when you're uploading your book you put a description that talks about your book the benefits everything about your book this is what potential buyers would see and read in your absence you are not there if it's a physical market now you'll be there to say ah hello come and buy this book this book has 20 recipes it has breakfast lunch and dinner it has this it has that it has low calories the benefits are this the benefit you write all these things you tell the person all these things physically that is when it's a physical market but now this is an online market where you just upload all this information with all these persuasive words and people will come and buy in your absence now you want to put everything you would have told the person if you were seeing the person physically is what you would write inside the description your description is your sales copy that sells your book even in your absence or while you are asleep somewhere around the world so if you check description of best-selling books you would see that they have a pattern there are some vital elements inside the description that attracts people to buy this one has even lost one of the elements for me number one element of a good description is that it must have a heading it will look like a blog post it will have a heading so this one that says the ultimate air fryer cookbook for beginners i can just write something like cooking without oil made easy or oilless cooking for healthy eating I'll just write something like that and it will be bold at the top, at the top here. It will be boldly written at the top here. I'll look for one and show us before the, the description will start properly. The ultimate beginner-friendly air fryer cookbook featuring over 100 unique delicious recipes that can easily be created using just an air fryer and some basic kitchen equipment. With a mix of meat, poultry, fish, vegetarian and vegan options, including dessert recipes for those with a sweet tooth, all for under 700 calories a pop you see that he is trying to pick some words from his subtitle and is buttressing them to get a captivating hook so after 
your heading the next thing is a hook something that would keep them on the page and make them continue reading and that's what this person have done he has said it's beginner friendly and it's featuring over 100 unique recipes where you have for meat you have for poultry you have for vegan and vegetarian so whatever type of category you fall in you will definitely see recipes that suit you inside this book that is a captivating hook and has also said that it has less than 700 calories per meal so it is showing you that as you are human almost every human is trying to cut down on calories and carbohydrates so this person is trying to catch you with, with that and grab your attention telling you that all the recipes in this book have less than 700 calories we said the first thing your description should have is your heading the second thing is your hook a captivating or a powerful hook the third thing is the benefits of that book what they would derive from getting that book and it has to be in bullet points that is the secret you have to put the benefits in bullet points in subsequent videos i will show you how to write descriptions when we start uploading books now i'll show you how to write description that's going to be in module four i think module four yes you will see how to write descriptions and i'm going to show you how to use chat gpt to get compelling description but for the purpose of this my youtube subscribers and online cousins if you see a description that you like like this okay if you see a description that you like like this you can just copy it copy it like this everything and then control c copy it then go to chat gpt like i said i'm not supposed to be doing this i'm just teaching you i'm just showing you that this course this mentorship is power packed a lot of research a lot of work i've gone into these videos i spent nights days burning light to make sure that i have more than concepts and strategies to help you make sales so you can just paste that here control v after pasting that you will now say rewrite the above book description to become more captivating and trigger the emotion of potential buyers to take action and buy this book when you do that you've told chat gpt to rewrite this entire content for you and chat gpt is going to do its work now where it says the ultimate beginner friendly air fryer cookbook this chat gpt says discover the ultimate beginner friendly air fryer cookbook now it's also said featuring over 100 unique delicious recipes that can easily be created using just an air fryer chat gpt now rewrote that and said packed with over 100 mouth-watering recipes this essential guide will transform the way you cook you see it continues by saying whether you are a novice in the kitchen or an experienced chef looking for healthier options this book has something for everyone you see that in the main description it's pointed out that it has meat it has poultry it has vegan and vegetarian but chat gpt rewrote that and said that whether you are experienced or you're a beginner looking for healthier options this book has something for everyone in my case i'll change this something to recipes or meals for everyone so you see i just gave you this for free enjoy it while it lasts so this is how to write description easily you don't need to stress yourself too much if you don't know the right prompt to give chat gpt but in the video when i start teaching how to write description i'll teach you the two methods i'll teach you the prompt to use in getting the best type of description for your book and i'll also teach you how to use bestsellers descriptions to get your own description so if you look at it very well you'll see that the benefits of this description in bullet points chat gpt have written it and even added more for us so this is how you you can get captivating descriptions for your book okay so your description has to be very compelling because it is what people will read in your absence to know what your book entails to know the book contents before they decide to click and buy take time to understand how to write captivating descriptions and i said the first thing is your heading the second thing is your hook the third thing is the benefits of this book what people would derive the joy they would derive from buying this book based on the contents of the book and the fourth i call it a pre-call to action this is where you will now explain that this book if you don't buy it this is what you will miss if you don't buy this book this is what you stand to miss if you buy this book this is what you stand to gain if you are within this age group or age grade or expertise level this book is for you then after that you have the final call to action where you now 
tell them to buy this book because sometimes after all the instructions and all the explanations people still want you to push them to buy they still want you to push them to take action so in this case you have to tell them to add to cart or click buy now to buy this book let me see what this person used this person did not add that final call to action this person has a pre-call to action where you said great for people looking you see there's a mistake here it's supposed to be a great book for people looking to get more use out of their air fryer this is a pre-call to action let's check another book as you can see this one has a heading it said dive into deliciousness the complete air fryer cookbook for beginners well with my experience and expertise i will tell you for free this description was written with chat gpt or germany ai or co-pilot it was sha written with one ai writing tool so as you can see this is the heading this book has this heading then it have the body which is the hook unlock the secret to effortless and flavorful air fried creations you see the hook this is the hook if any potential buyer reads this they want to continue reading then beginner friendly this person just went straight to the benefits and features of the book it didn't even go detailed into the hook the hook is just straight one line one sentence hook then it started with the bullet points as you can see these are bullet points it said beginner friendly culinary adventure then simplified your cooking experience you see step-by-step -step guidance for success these are all the benefits of this book then you said feature culinary adventure these are more benefits then look at the pre-call to action whether you are a kitchen enthusiast or a complete beginner the complete air fryer cookbook for beginners is your passport to a world of delicious and effortless air fried meals that is my pre-call to action okay then the final call to action says elevate your cooking game and transform every meal into a culinary masterpiece get your copy today that is the final call to action always add a call to action at the end of your book description i hope that is clear five title page your title page is a very important sales determinant buyers do not just come on amazon search for a keyword and buy the only book they see they will take time to survey they will take time to compare all the books that attract them for example if they check they will see like three books that attract them out of the many books that display so they'll open all these three and then start looking at them they'll check the description they'll check the subtitle they'll check the book cover they will check the look inside that is where the sales comes from they will check the look inside because they want to have a feel of what the book looks like amazon gives every buyer the opportunity to check 30 percent of the book interior for them to make their buy now decision so when they check the look inside of three of the books at least then they will decide the one that appeals to them the most and then that's the one they will buy let me show you after buyers click and they come to your book like this they will start looking at everything they will check your pricing they will check the title the subtitle they will check everything they will even check the description as i explained earlier then after checking everything they will come and click this look inside you see this look inside they will click it because they want to have a feel of what your book interior looks like then once they check look inside they will first see your book cover like this if you even use your book cover as your title page it is even good you can do that if you like but if you don't make sure that your title page is well designed your title page is the first page they see immediately they open your book after they flip the cover open the first page they will see is the title page it needs to be very very attractive so if you scroll down you will see the title this person used book cover as their title page and then started with the table of contents let's check another book okay look at this one after they've clicked the look inside they'll land on this page this is the first page then this is the title page the complete air fryer cookbook after they open this back cover this is the back cover after you open this back cover this is the first page they will see this title page is not even attractive to me i don't like it i used to design my title page my title page sometimes even looks 
more beautiful than my book cover because once you flip it open you want to see something that appeals to you so this title page looks good but it is not as attractive as i expect it to be let me check for this one you click the look inside okay now this is the title page of this person the dash and mediterranean diet bible well this is not attractive to me although you can always leave it like this it is okay to leave it like this but this is the normal way of writing or creating books like i said there is a new way to do this things if you really want to tap from the wealth of amazon customers you must take a step further you must do something extra something different from what everybody is doing or what people have been doing this is the normal method this is how everybody have been doing it all you need to do is to make sure that your title page is better than others if i want to buy from any of these three books now i might not buy from this person i might not buy from the first person which is this one because it doesn't have any title page apart from what i've seen before which is the book cover design i might decide to buy from this person because this one has something slightly different with color scheme and a little font change and dynamics so i might decide to buy from this person after i have checked that every other thing is perfectly done make sure that your title page is very attractive six your table of contents i have suspense in your table of contents you need to create some level of suspense you don't need to put everything inside your book on your table of contents you need to put some things hide them inside the book but just flash it on the buyer's face and let them know that this particular element is inside this book for example if you have 20 elements for dog training inside your book you don't need to list the 20 elements inside the table of contents just put elements for dog training you can write 20 elements for dog training that is what they should see but they should not have access to those 20 elements okay if you have 30 healthy foods for diabetes don't go and start listing all the 30 healthy foods inside your table of contents keep that for them to see when they buy the book but they will see in the table of contents that this book has a section where you've listed 30 healthy foods for diabetes so that is a suspense they will feel like wow if i don't buy this book there is no way i can have access to these elements or to these 30 elements for managing diabetes i hope that is clear let me show you when buyers click the look inside and they stumble on your look inside page they'll check your title page they will check your table of content they will check everything as you can see this person he just started straight with the table of content no stories nothing look at this pork recipes beef recipes chicken recipes so this person is just giving recipes straight down recipes no story and the table of content is very short you see how can you just have only these short elements as a table of content nothing captivating this is just straight down to recipes so i don't like this table of content it's not enough to hold me or make me want to buy this book let's check another one you click the look inside this is the paperback and this is the kindle so you can switch any one you want here you can switch to check the kindle or check the paperback as it is now we are on the paperback page so if you scroll down this is the title page this is the copyright page and the disclaimer page which is okay you see that this person designed this book very well you didn't just put only the copyright page and the disclaimer page the person also added images that can attract you and let you have a feel of what this book is talking about as well as the inside feature of the book how it looks now if you keep scrolling down this is table of contents can you see how sweet and well designed this table of contents looks that's why i said earlier that if i had wanted to buy this book or a book about air fryers and i opened three other ones as i've done here this is the one i'll buy because this one ticks almost all the boxes of the elements that can attract me or attract buyers to buy your book so look at how bulky this table of contents is apart from the fact that it is attractive it is also bulky introduction after the introduction then chapter one chapter one has all the recipes can you see now this person is showing that these are the recipe names and that is how it should be not that there are some vital elements in the book where you now start listing them here again like i gave an example earlier let's say you're writing a book about self-help or this time let's say you're writing a book about divorce and then somewhere inside the book you now have something like my five 
my top five secrets for preventing divorce in my marriage. This is your special story. What you need to do now is that you don't need to start listing the top five secrets and say, I don't drag with my husband. I don't insult my husband. I don't do this. You don't need to list all those things. Just put only the heading, my top five secrets for preventing divorce. Then all those elements, the top five secret elements, you don't list them in your table of contents. And this simply means that you don't put it in either heading one or heading two, because it is only what to put in your heading one or heading two that will appear in your table of contents when we start book formatting and writing i will explain that in another video so look at this table of contents very attractive i like my table of content to take two to four pages this person is my kind of person as you can see this is the first page table of contents chapter two you have some recipes chapter three some more recipes this is the second page table of contents this is the third page table of contents and and this is the fourth page table of contents before the book started with introduction can you see so you need to understand how these things work how they affect the emotions or the decision of the potential buyer now the reason i like taking two to four pages is that i understand book placement and number pages you don't just start your book from anywhere your book needs to start from an odd number page a page that you cannot divide the number by two i'm going to explain this when we start book formatting in another video in this mentorship or in this course so if your table of contents takes more than two pages it has to roll to three pages but if a table of contents is not bulky enough to take up to four pages you can now use picture to cover the last page let's say you have a table of content that is just three pages then a picture should cover the last page or another word of encouragement should cover the last page for example you're writing a book about how to manage diabetes or diabetes recipes cookbook or diabetes diets cookbook rather or diabetic air fryer cookbook and the table of contents is only three pages after the page one page two like this then page three then this last page you must add a full picture to cover the page or add a word of encouragement telling the buyer that i know you bought this book because you want to manage or control your diabetic condition i'll tell you today you are not left alone you are not the only person facing diabetes there are a lot of people in the world facing diabetes i encourage you to take time to meticulously follow these recipes and you would manage or control your sugar level in no time the next time you would go for a sugar level test you would find out that your sugar level have reduced and you would live a happier and better life if you put something like this any buyer that stumbles on this page that alone is another marketing strategy for you to sell the book the buyer now feels like you care you're not just trying to sell a book to them you care about their condition you care about who they are okay i'm going to do all this better i'll show you how to do them when we start book formatting in module five of this course that is where you see book formatting i'm going to explain all these things i'll show you how to do them i'll even show you how to get persuasive and compelling words that can encourage buyers to buy your book okay i hope this is clear so your table of contents should be bulky but at the same time have some level of suspense in it seven book introduction pointing out the who after buyers check your title your subtitle your cover your description title page and your table of content they want to also go in depth to have more insight about your book interior they will check your book introduction now this is where you lock your marketing if you tick all other six boxes and your introduction is not captivating it doesn't capture their heart there is high tendency they will move to the next person to check their own book so your best bet is that you keep a buyer on your page as they check your keywords they check your title your subtitle your book cover your description your title page your table of contents when they get to your introduction this is where they make their final decision to buy if you pass the first six stages at the book introduction level once they read just your first paragraph and they see that this book actually contains what they want the next thing they will do is to just go and click the buy now button and amazon also made it easy such that after they read all these things the next thing they will see is to buy this book to continue reading let me show you 
This is the book that I said I like. Now, let's see the introduction. It says, Welcome to the world of culinary exploration with Air Fryer. This one, a chat GPT. Now, this person used an AI to write this book. Now, because all this culinary and all, they are all chat GPT type of words. If you are looking for a healthier way to enjoy your favorite fried foods without all the grease and fat, then an Air Fryer is the perfect solution for you. Remember that I said, Describe the who. Who this book is meant for. Now, this person has done that. He has said, if you're looking for ways to eat healthy without extra oil or fat, this book is for you by using an air fryer to cook. As you can see, he has described the who. He continues by saying, air fryer have been gaining popularity as a healthier and more convenient alternative to deep frying, which means you can indulge in all your favorite dishes without the added oil and calories. This person, if not be my student, if not be my one-on-one -on -one student, it will remain small because this person is just writing like me. Now, you also see that the, the person just didn't go straight to writing the introduction. The person also added an image here. This person, I suspect this person. <laughs> so the person added an image. This is my pattern of writing. This is my pattern of formatting. So that as you are reading all these things, you are falling in love already with the book because you are seeing images that appeals to you. But there's something this person did not do that I don't like. There is, you see this welcome. It should start with a drop cap. I'll show you what the drop cap is in a minute. You should start with the drop cap such that this W in this welcome should be bigger than all other elements in the book. That is a drop cap. So always use drop cap when formatting your book. I'll show you shortly. So this person at the end, he now said, what set this air fryer cookbook apart? This is showing that why do you think this cookbook is better than all other cookbooks? He also said, what to expect inside this book? Let's get cooking. This person finished this introduction. Introduction. If you are a serious buyer and you stumble on this person's book, you would definitely buy this book. The worst you will do is that you will buy this one and buy another one, but you will not neglect this book except you don't see it because this book ticks all the boxes that can attract any serious buyer. Introduction just took only one page, which is fine, but I like my own introduction to take two pages because I understand placement and formatting so after this first page the second page if i don't have anything to write there i'll add a full picture to cover the page this is my own pattern because introduction should take at least two pages after that then you can now start other aspects of the book in his own case he started the chapter one straight up which is breakfast you see that's how i write my book too my chapter one is always breakfast chapter two lunch chapter three dinner chapter four desserts chapter five maybe smoothies or snacks or any other thing that i want to add before then i might have added my meal plan or after then i can add my meal plan so this person is using my pattern to write their book and it is fine i'm really enjoying it because i'm relating well with this book it is my style. Let's check another book to be sure. So this one, after the table of... Okay, let me show you something in table of contents now. After the first page, which is the title page, the copyright and disclaimer page, then the table of contents. Look at his own table of contents. It's not as designed as the other one, but it is fine. You have introduction, you have part one, dash diet. You continue page one, introduction. First page, table of contents. Second page, table of contents. Third page, table of contents. And the fourth page, table of contents. This is my style. My table of contents always takes two to four pages. And as you can see, this is what this person did. Then the introduction starts in the next page, which is page seven. This person understands placement. You see that table of contents took four pages and then the introduction starts with an odd number. This is going to let your book starts from the left hand side which makes sense that's how a book should start when people are reading your book as they are flipping through introduction starts from the right hand side it will start on the left hand side of your screen if you are using a double page screen or the right hand side of your book after it is printed that's the hard copy of your book now introduction the dash diets is a titled and true dietary strategy for controlling blood pressure if you've been identified with hypertension. You see that he has identified the who, the who 
who this book is created for. He said, if you have been identified or diagnosed with hypertension, that is how a book should be. Now, lowering blood sugar is a DASH diet plan main goal. By improving general cardiovascular health, the Mediterranean diet attempts to lower the risk of heart disease. You see that this person has pointed out who this book was written for before starting the chapter one, which is part one in his own case. As you can see, part one, a brief overview of the DASH diet for beginners so this book ticks all the boxes too it is well written and i like it this is how i write my books too your introduction has to be captivating and has to catch the attention of the potential buyer by showing them who this book was meant for or who this book is meant for now i said i was going to show you how if you read the 30 percent that amazon allows you to see you are going to go straight into buying the book is that look at this right hand side you see add to cart or buy now but if you continue reading and you scroll down you continue reading the part that amazon allows you to see as the buyer at the end you see add to cart or buy now so as you are reading the next thing you will see is that you should buy this book and that is how amazon helps us to lock our sales if you check the first book too as you are reading okay you read the little parts amazon allows you to see you scroll down at the end of the book you will see where amazon says enjoy this sample buy the paperback edition to continue reading the full book or return to the store to purchase the paperback edition can you see Amazon, after they've allowed you to enjoy some parts of the book, they will now tell you to buy the book to continue reading. This is why your introduction has to lock it. Your introduction has to be your winning formula. As long as they finish reading the introduction, the next thing is to buy the book as Amazon will show them the icon to click and buy. I hope this is clear. Eight, back cover and storytelling. A lot of people don't know about these secrets. And if you're listening to this or you're watching this video now, count yourself lucky. You see the back cover of your book, it should not just be left blank. You can also use it to advertise. That is the last thing Amazon shows the potential buyer before they show them the buy now icon or the buy now button. The back cover is a powerful marketing tool that if you know how to use it very well, you will be using it to capture the heart or the emotion of buyers and make them buy your book using storytelling this is simply a way of telling a story around the title of your book or the concept of your book so that the buyers will relate more to the story which will make them feel like your book has everything they want as a solution to the problem they are looking for this is a very huge secret and i've not been seeing anybody in fact in the whole of youtube i've not seen any Anybody talk about this the back cover and the storytelling let me show you after buyers come on your page and they click the look inside of your book they will keep reading the section which is a 30 percent section that amazon allowed them to see and then they will read and read and read until they get to the bottom of the book at the end of the book after amazon have shown them the interior a section of the interior the last thing they will see before this buy now button or this add to cart icon is the back cover as you see this is the back cover it says the ultimate beginner friendly air fryer cookbook featuring over 100 unique delicious recipes that can easily be created using just an air fryer and some basic kitchen equipment with a mix of meat poultry and i think this is the person's description yes it is okay to also put your description if you like i used to do it when i started i used to add my description at the back cover of my book so that since the description is like a sales copy the back cover is also going to be like a sales copy that i'm going to use to sell the book before the person or to sell to the person and make them click this buy now icon let's check another one so when you click the look inside the buyer will scroll down to the end of the page they won't just scroll down they'll be reading everything like i told you earlier and then when they get to the end of the page you see the back cover this is the complete air fryer cookbook this is captivating although there is no marketing element here there is no no selling content here so after this back cover then they will see add to cart or buy now this is where you should now use the opportunity to advertise your book in a more captivating way that appeals to the buyer let's check another one scroll down the buyer will keep reading and they'll be scrolling down like this until they get to the end of the 
page and as you can see this one just added the dash and mediterranean bible this is not my method with my method you would advertise this book at the end and you would even put your picture you put at the top corner here you will put your picture and add author bio you write little very, very short content about the author and then you would advertise the book writing some other things that you didn't add in your description you write it here so that the potential buyer will have more insights with words that can capture their attention and make them feel like this is the right book for them so Immediately after that information, the next thing is to add to cart or buy the book. This is how you make a lot of sales. In module 7 of this course, you are going to see how to create captivating back covers while advertising your book on the back cover using your author picture, your author bio, and more appealing words that will make buyers not even want to think twice they'll just click on the add to cart or buy now icon so you need to use storytelling for this and to do this you would go to chat gpt and tell chat gpt to give you a story around the title of your book using somebody who successfully controlled or managed that condition if you need the prompt for the storytelling, let me know in the description. Like, Legal Naira, thanks for this book marketing video. Please, I need the prompt on storytelling for books or for book advertising. I'll definitely take my time to create like 10 different fonts and I'll show you how they work. And then I'll send them to you directly or create a video for everyone to have the prompt so they can modify. So this is how you can use your back cover and storytelling to make a lot of sales. Nine, book interior formatting. This is your gag pata pata of them all. If everything in your book, the marketing elements, the title page, table of contents, introduction, every other thing is done well and the interior formatting is bad. You will not make any sales except the potential buyer does not even know what they want in the first place. They don't even know what it means to have a good book or a well formatted book. That's when they would just mistakenly buy the book. But in such cases, just expect a bad review or even a return if it's a paperback version. And apart from that, such a book would be having very low sales or might not even make any sales at all. And this happens most times when you use your phone to format and you don't know how to format properly. In module 7, I'm going to do a complete smartphone book formatting video for those using smartphone i understand that not everyone watching this video is using a laptop so if you're using a smartphone and you don't know how to do it properly just know that you would have a lot of problem in future with your formatting that is going to lead to bad review and it's also going to lead to low or no sales at all you need to understand how to format your book interior very well i have a couple of videos on my youtube that shows book interior the basic book interior formatting but in this course i'm going to do the advanced book formatting so that you can stay above the competition using this new formatting methods let me show you the difference between a good formatting and a bad formatting so you can even make the decision whether you would buy the one with the bad formatting or the one with the good formatting let's go now i found this book bali travel guide 2024 and it was uploaded just recently i think last month and then i decided to check the look inside and this book is poorly formatted i don't know who owns this book i'm just using it for educational purpose now let's check together this is the title page i mean sorry this is the back cover of the book this is the title page can you see how can everything just be chunked together like this no space no paragraph nothing how can a title page look like this bali travel guide 2024 best expertise travel everything is just they look at the pen look at the name the pen name and the copyright page all chunked together oh god i can never buy this book look at justification zero alignment zero settings zero page format zero everything in this formatting is bad look at the spaces by the sides the left and the right hand side imagine buying a book and everything is just cropped into the middle 
and then you think you think you are going to make sales or get good reviews you are only going to be wasting your time let's continue i'm showing you the bad format just imagine how can you chunk in two images like this who oh god how do you format a book like this and you want to make sales if you have your book like this please go and check my book formatting video at least the basic formatting video can help you stand out you would not watch my formatting video and you would create this no now let me show you the video i'm talking about on my page so if you get to Lego Naira TV on YouTube, you just keep scrolling down. Okay, you click on videos. This is videos. You click on videos. You will see complete book formatting course. Kindle paperback ad cover. How to format books for Kindle paperback and ad cover. This particular video, this one that you're seeing here. If you watch this video, it's a one hour video. If you watch it, you will know everything about basic formatting and you will never format like what I just showed you. This video is is power packed and you will learn a lot from it another video you should watch after this one that will teach you placements is this one that says best selling book formatting this is where i practically show you where to put your title your table of contents your introduction your chapters and your conclusion i showed you where to put it and this is the video biggest secret paperback formatting watch these two videos that are side by side and you would really enjoy formatting as from that moment now if you are using a phone i have 10 videos on my youtube that will teach you smartphone book formatting and this is it starting from this first video where it says write books with smartphone part one part two part three part four part five six seven eight nine ten i teach everything or i taught everything about how you can use your smartphone to format book properly you cannot be formatting book anyhow and you think buyers will just buy the book because they are looking for it there are a lot of people that have the same book and they've done their due diligence done their formatting perfectly you cannot upload something as bad as this and say you want to make sales just let's continue you'll see how just imagine how can you have this as your table of contents just see i mean everything is just scattered no reasonable buyer would see this and buy table of contents just look imagine everything here is on page five look at this table of contents everything here is showing that is on page five or more now wow now wow now wow how can the table of contents be showing that everything is on page five everything is showing page five on the table of contents then the introduction is showing page one. Oh god who be this person i beg you continue look at just look at introduction just imagine what is this introduction after all these dots then introduction imagine having a book and everything is just in the middle i mean this is a bad formatting a poor formatting very very poor so as you continue i mean i'm even i'm even pissed looking at this book interior i'm pissed after checking all this look at the back cover just imagine this person will come to you now and say legal i uploaded my book i uploaded 20 books and i've done making sales how will you make sales with something like this it's not possible even you that owns the book can you buy this type of book so you have to create books like you are creating for reasonable people not just opening your laptop or opening your phone or device and then chunking in words and pictures and you think you've created a book this is bad formatting now let me show you what good formatting looks like this is a book the mediterranean dash diet cookbook as you can see lower your blood pressure and improve your health this is the book cover this is the front page as you can see after the front page there is a beautiful image of some of the foods you'll find inside this book as you can see colorful and well arranged you cannot compare this with the one i just showed you now look at the table of contents very nice okay although this table of contents does not catch my attention but let me show you one secret here that this person is using to sell in the breakfast session he's showing you that he has 25 different recipes on that breakfast alone what does that tell you it will flash you back to where i said you need to add suspense to your table of contents this is suspense whoever is looking at this book now will see that okay the breakfast has 25 recipes the snack side and small plates have 41 recipes salad and soup has 63 recipes vegetarian has 83 recipes 
fish and shellfish has 105 recipes poultry and meat 125 recipes this is what we call suspense very simple and straightforward table of contents but with a lot of suspense in it the person is not even showing you anything inside the elements or the type of recipes in the book this is awesome i said i was going to show you what drop cap means i waited till we get to formatting this is what drop cap means as you can see introduction the f in the food he said food has many meaning and represent different things to different people the f in the food is bigger than all other elements on this page that is what drop cap means from time the whites or the westerners or the potential buyers of this book have understood that when a book is formatted like this it is done by a professional this is basically how it is based on research so always make sure that the beginning of your book actually your introduction or your chapters the first letter there is bigger than all other letters and when i start teaching book formatting in module 8 i'm going to show you how to create drop cap for all your chapters automatically it is very easy now let's check another book this is another very beautifully formatted book so this is the cover this is the title page you keep scrolling down you see acknowledgements copyright page gratitude page and this is table of contents you see very nice just like what i explained there is suspense here and the chapters are well placed and it's splitted into different parts part one part two you see the chapter chapter one the best of the best you see this drop cap the dash diet based on the research dietary approach to stop hypertension that's the full meaning of dash diet if you see this t here before dash the t is bigger than all other elements the letter t is bigger than all other letters on this page so this is what drop cap means and like i said i'm going to teach you how to do it i also talked about having your picture at the last page or at the back cover of your book having an auto bio a very short auto bio with the picture of the author and a little marketing element this is what we have here as you can see this is the last page of this book and you see about the author with a picture i'm going to to teach you how to do this don't worry don't even stress yourself it's very very easy very easy to do i'm going to teach you how to do it in module 8 when i'm teaching how to format books this is the picture this is the author bio you can read it it says abigail man is a chef and registered dietitian with a master's degree in nutrition education this is very simple you can use chat gpt to get it but i'll give you the prompt on how to get it when i start teaching how to format books in this course if you also scroll to the last part which is the back cover of the book as you can see this is the same author bio the same author bio that the person put here you just copy it and put it here with some marketing element as you see two healthy diets one delicious cookbook and friendly diet advice 100 mediterranean dash recipes easy to make this is a marketing element used to sell this book recipes include as you can see so this is another thing that captures the attention of buyers once they see this they will see buy now or add to cart and then they would not even think twice before they add this book to cart or even buy it immediately so this is how to format books properly please your formatting is like 40 percent determinant of your sales i cannot open your book and see that your formatting is poorly done and you expect me to buy i'm here to get satisfaction apart from even looking for solution so i'm looking for two things i want to derive satisfaction from whatever i buy on this platform and i also want to get solution to my problem so if i have hypertension or i want to manage my heart condition i would definitely come and look for a dash diet cookbook but at the same time i would need to be satisfied with the type of book i buy i hope that is clear please like this video and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel because i post great and valuable videos like this to help you scale your kdp business or do any online or offline business generally and be successful with it please help like the video so that more people that will be interested in making money online through amazon kdp or other make money online methods would get access to this video youtube will show them the video so that they can also watch the video let's all clear sakba and have a better life 10 your unique selling 
point. Some people call it unique selling proposition. This is something that has to be unique to only you and your book. Sometimes you put it inside your book and sometimes you put it at the beginning of your book. But this is going to be something spectacular that you as a publisher or an author, an independent author, would find out yourself and you use it for only your book. Let me just give you two that I use personally and you can go and brainstorm more by yourself of using the same technique there's a website called tts maker let me show you this is the website as you can see it says free text to speech so what you can do is that you can carry any part of your book but in this case i also want to take the title and the subtitle of this book but in your case you take any special part of your book copy it i just highlighted and copied it then i'll go to my tts maker and you paste the parts which you have copied. You paste it inside this TTS maker. It says maximum character, 2,000 words, remaining 1,839 words. It means that I've used some number of words out of my 2,000. For every time I want to use this, I can only paste 2,000 words per time. So I'll select the language I want, okay? This is English. I've chosen English. Then scroll down and select convert to speech let's see what that will give us okay you have to first put the code the code says seven four three seven when you put the code you know say convert to speech you will see what will happen now this tts maker will convert that the text ultimate air fryer cookbook for beginners 109 detailed recipes under 700 calories with macros data for healthy quick affordable meals perfected in minutes so if you want to use this as your own unique selling proposition or your unique selling points, you will have to do a lot of parts. Let's take, for example, you are creating a recipe book. You would copy each of the recipes, maybe not all. Let's say you have 100 recipes in your book, you can do 50 and you add it in your description that for buying this book, you will gain access to 50 of the recipes like an audio book. Very simple. All you need to do is to copy the recipes Paste them inside this text to speech. Make sure that they are each of them are not more than 2,000 words. If it's more than 2,000 words, you have to do it twice. You do first 1,000 or 1,500 words, then you do another 500 words. So after doing that, you will now download. See, I can download this video file. I can download it as a video. So I'll just click on download. Once I download it, you see, downloading, it has downloaded. The ultimate air fryer and cookbook this is it. for beginners. 109 detailed recipes under 700 calories with macros data for healthy, quick, affordable meals perfected in minutes. When you successfully do this, you have created something unique for the buyer, something that will push them to buy the book. Before, we used to add this on the book cover, but please don't add it again. It might lead to your book getting blocked. Amazon is very, very skeptical these days with things like that. They are very careful. They don't want you to put anything that would mislead or seem like it will mislead the buyer. So now, put it in your description. Just say it's that one of the things you get when you buy this book is that you can even put it in your pre-call to action that you get audio book or the audio version of 50 of the recipes or all of the recipes or the complete book when you buy this book that is a very big bonus instead of buying the audio book version they can buy the paperback or the kindle version and have access to the audio version of the book by simply listening to it there's nobody that will see this and will not want to buy this book this is just one i don't think i want to tell you another one sorry and i have like 10 different usps which is the unique selling proposition or your unique selling points that you can create and add to your book and i'm going to leave that for only my mentorship students so this one that i've given you is just one of them you can enjoy this one and have it as my online cousin after you download that video you can upload to your google drive or youtube when you upload it you would now copy the link and convert it to a qr code I'm also going to teach you how to do all these conversions in module seven, where I'll be teaching you some basic things that you should add to your book. If you convert it to a QR code, you would now put it inside your book. Amazon says they don't want us to put any bonus at the beginning of the book. So go to the middle of your book. If your book is 100 pages, put it on page 50. If your book is 70 pages, put it on like page 50 or page 40. Then you put it there. You put the QR code that they can scan to gain access to this audio file or the videos. Once they scan it or they click on the link, it will take them directly to where you've saved this, maybe on your Google Drive or on YouTube, and then they will access it easily. I hope that is clear.
that is the unique selling point that I want to give you here, but I'm reserving the rest for my mentorship students. If you're interested in becoming one of my students, you know what to do. Just click on the description down below. You will see a link that will lead you to Seller where I hosted this course, and then you can quickly subscribe to it. For now, it is just 10,000 Naira. But as soon as I launch the revamped course, it is going to increase with 100%. That is going to be 20,000 Naira. So enjoy it while it lasts. Quickly take advantage and subscribe to this course right now. Click on the link in the description down below to gain instant access to the course. As you know, I can't complete a video without giving you bonus or bonuses. And for this video, I'm going to be giving you four hot bonuses and this is what you gain from watching this video to the end the first bonus for today is author central and author central is an important part of your publishing journey if you are a publisher and you have five to ten books or more and you don't have an author central you are leaving money on the table the author central is like a website where amazon specially created for you so that you can display all your books on one page with this when buyers buy your book or they intend to buy your book when they read your title subtitle description look inside title page and your introduction and they want to buy more books from you or they want to see more books from you they will click your author name to get access to your author central which is also called your author page so that they will see more books from you and they can choose to buy more books from you let me show you let's say this is your book and the buyer stumbles on this page as he has checked everything he likes your book but he wants to see if you have more books that he can buy he will just click on this your name this is your author name you see it says author here he will click on the author name and it will take him directly to your author page this is your author page you see about the author here you will put information about yourself your qualifications certificates or any other thing that you have to post about yourself you can also add your social media handle so that readers or your buyers can follow you on social media gain access to more information from you and whenever you drop a new book or you release a new book they would quickly click to buy because they are following you on social media let's see what is there in the full bio as you can see this is about this person who works in the u.s navy department of health and human services and so on you can see this is other information from them their website their email their twitter their facebook if you have tiktok their pinterest as you can see all these are information that you can put in your author central and if if somebody likes their book and they come on this their page now they will see all this information and they can follow them on social media imagine having to have sold 200 books and at least 50 to 100 of them are following you on social media this is instant sales for you whenever you drop a new book they will quickly see it and they will click click to buy another thing you can do is that in your auto central you can put your picture like this so that your readers can see who they are reading from and how you look i'll show you how to get pictures to use so that you don't run into trouble now the big fish for the auto central is this all books if your buyer comes here and they click on all books they will see all the books written by you so imagine that you have 100 books and everything is here on your author page or your author central all the buyer needs to do is to keep scrolling down until they will see books that they like they can end up buying more than two or three books from you you can select the format here this is kindle you can see all the kindle books that this person has under this author central you can also select paperback hardcover audio book uh, as the case may be this person has seven books in their author central but if you have 20 30 40 100 or even 200 books you can add them to your auto central in this video on my youtube channel i thought how to create an auto central and how to add your books to auto central how to also convert your auto bio link into a qr code and put it inside your book so that when buyers have already bought your book they can easily have access to more books from you this video is going to teach you that easily yeah i said set up amazon auto central page with qr code maker 
I urge you to watch this video if you want to learn everything about Auto Central because it is going to help you increase sales. The next one is book pricing. Well, I don't need to tell you about this because pricing your book the right way, the most competitive way as possible, is what will make a buyer even consider buying your book in the first place. If the price is higher than all the books in that category, there is a possibility that buyers will skip your book, except you have something exceptionally good that makes your book stand out. So if you check books on Amazon, let's say Mediterranean Dash Diet Cookbook, you see this one has $13 as the paperback, the Kindle is $9.99, this one has $13 as the paperback too, $14 the paperback, $12, $9, $12. You'll see that the average for this is like between $9 to $13. So staying around $10 or $11 will really help you scale as a new book. If you are going to upload your book in this category or in this um, title, you need to look at all the prices and say, okay, this one that has $14 has 26 reviews. This one that has $13 has 180 reviews. This one has 966 reviews and it's $13. You cannot compete with these people. The only thing you try to do is to stay in that market. The best way is to make your price as low as possible. You see this one is $14 too. This one is running sponsored ad, so he has the confidence to make his book $14. I don't know how many pages though, but sometimes the number of pages can also make you want to increase price of your book. But if you look at this now, with my own statistics, I will prefer to stay around $10 or $11 so that I can beat or stand this competition. The next one is A plus content. <laughs> this is another winning formula. Let us see what Amazon says about A plus content. Amazon says A plus content allows you to add images, text, and comparison tables to your Amazon detail page to encourage readers and give them more information as they consider buying your book. Add A plus content to your detail page to make your book stand out, connect readers with your books, and share more about your author story. Now, what A plus content does is that the way I explain it to my students is that A plus content is like a signboard. If you are going to a shop or you are just passing by a shop and you just see a shop that is up or a boutique around without a signboard, you would find it difficult to decipher or understand what is going on inside that shop but if they have a signboard or a signage outside where they write the name of the boutique legal naira boutique they will draw shoes clothes belts wristwatches or whatever they sell inside that boutique you don't even need to enter inside the boutique for you to know what they sell and what is going on inside there this is exactly what a plus content does to your books so i'll show you what a plus content is and how they appear on your book page so that before buyers even make their buy now decision they can have in-depth feel of what your book is talking about just as a signboard would do to a boutique so let's say this is your book page if you add a plus content to your book as a buyer is reading through they've checked the look inside the title subtitle pricing description they'll keep scrolling down to read more about your book and you see this from the publisher this is an a plus content see how beautiful it is you have to design a captivating image to add as your a plus content so that when buyers come this would also help them engage with your book as you can see this is the book cover it is showing them a realistic image of how the book will be when they buy it this is another very important marketing element the complete air fryer cookbook well designed you see this thing here this particular one it is showing them that there's a gift inside this book you see it is a gift with ribbon so if you open it there's a gift inside that's what this is showing now you scroll down this is another one you give more details about your Book. if somebody sees this they will picture themselves using the recipe of this book to cook in their kitchen this is another good thing that a plus content does for your book these are some of the recipes in the book they are time saving they are budget friendly and they are energy saving as you can see all these are recipes that they have inside this book and the buyer is seeing clear realistic pictures of the recipes when they finish cooking them 
as it is in this book this is more effortless flavorful and versatile these are the recipes of this book as you can see this a plus content is beautiful very very beautiful when a buyer checks everything and they see all these two this would further help them engage with your book and trigger their emotions to click the buy now button let's check another one this is another book you scroll down once you get to from the publisher you see another one eating well living better with the dash diet the joy of healthy recipes combines with the richness of flavors for a new dimension of wellness with the book cover by the right hand side realistically placed there so that as you are seeing it you will know how the book will be or feel when you buy it this is another one you see that they have another image here these are two different books doing almost the same thing showing you how you would feel in the kitchen when you're trying to prepare or make the recipes in this book this is another one week meal plan week meal plan it is showing you that this book also have a meal plan inside so you can plan your meals ahead if you're a busy person audio book with the author good this is exactly what i just explained in the unique selling points where i said you can have the audio version of your book and then give it to buyers for free this person added it to their to their a plus content you can also add it to your a plus content steal this idea and use it to make more sales connect with the author herself as she guides you through the pages of the book she'll address your points pressing questions about hypertension offering valuable advice and emotional support along the way then they added the image of a play button as though this is an audio book any buyer that stumbles on this page and sees this a plus content they would definitely want to buy this book so in module 9 where i'm talking about book marketing external book marketing in this course i also taught how to do a plus content i'll teach you how to arrange your a plus content the best format of a plus content to use and a preset so that all your books that have that niche all your books in that niche will have the same type of presets and a plus content everything will look exceptionally beautiful and you will stand out to make more sales that is how what a plus content does another benefit of a plus content is that if you are doing low content you don't have access to the look inside feature of your book buyers will not have access to the look inside feature because Amazon stopped giving free ISBN to low content books. And if your book does not have ISBN, you cannot have the look inside access. Buyers can't look inside the book to see your title page, your table of contents, or any other contents inside your book. You can only have that if you go and buy your own ISBN number. And ISBN is not cheap. It's about $300 or so. I think if you're buying one, it's $100. But if you're buying like 10, it's $300. I can't really remember because I've never bought my private ISBN. I always use the one given to me by Amazon. If you are doing such book, which is low content, you want to give the buyers a feel of what is inside the book then they will scroll down and they will see your a plus content so a plus content serves as the look inside for low content books another good benefit of a plus content is that if people are using mobile phone depending on the phone and the screen size they will not be able to check the look inside not all books have or all phones devices can open the look inside of a book using a smartphone so buyers can have access to your a plus content so that what they cannot see inside your look inside feature they can always see it and have access to your book interior feel using your a plus content so as your book is going live quickly create the a plus content and upload it to that page a plus content can only be added after books have gone live and amazon does not send message for this if you upload your a plus content it takes about 24 to 48 hours to have your a plus content display on your book page if it does not display after 72 hours there is high possibility that they've rejected it and this is due to the fact that you might have added some elements that is against amazon a plus content terms and conditions so in module 9 i'm going to teach you the things you should add and not add to your a plus content so to get accepted even within 24 hours 
I hope that is clear. The most important of them all is reviews. The good thing about all these four bonuses is that they are subject to change. If you don't like your author central, you can change it, you can change your bio, you can change anything, you can remove books, you can add books, and Amazon allows you to add up to three author central on one kdp account so if you are into self-help you are into travel guide and you are into cookbooks and each of them have different pen names you can have author central for each of them separately and author central is location based if your book is in the amazon marketplace amazon.com marketplace which is the u.s marketplace buyers that are using or that are searching from the uk will not see your auto central same applicable to the a plus content so if you want to do a plus contents for uk you want buyers from the uk to see your auto central or your a plus content you have to create auto central and a plus content separately for that marketplace auto central and a plus content are market based and they can be changed if you don't like your auto central you can change it if you don't like your book price you can always change your book price this is why as a beginner you should start with a lower price than as your books are gaining traction and a lot of bookmarks the algorithm starts favoring it you can now increase the price a little to match the market price same thing applicable to a plus content if you don't like your a plus content you can always remove the one there before and put a new one but know that your a plus content in one marketplace will not be showing in another marketplace unless you create a plus content for that marketplace or you just upload the same a plus content for all the marketplaces where it is applicable this brings us to reviews reviews are social proof if your book does not have review there are some buyers that once they come on amazon they don't buy new books they are only looking for books with reviews there are different ways to get reviews there's a free way and there's a paid way to get reviews let me first talk about the free ways Number one free way is that you can put your books on free promotion. Amazon allows you to put your Kindle books on free promotion such that when buyers buy the book, they can read the book for free and give their honest opinion. But some buyers just buy this book and they go without give it any honest review they will read the book they will enjoy it but because you have not told them what to do they will not come back to give their honest review about your book so what you do is that somewhere inside your book usually from the middle of your book to the end of your book you should always put the book review link inside the book or change it to a qr code and put it inside the book so that when they scan the QR code, they will be able to instantly give you reviews because the QR code will link them directly to the review page, same as the link, linking them to the, directly to the review page so they can give their reviews like that. But if you don't do this, buyers will just come, download your book for free, and they will go like that, and you will not benefit anything. So the only way to put your book in free promotion is to make sure that there is a section inside your book where you've told these buyers that after after reading the book they should please give their honest review in model 10 that's why i talked about reviews and how to get reviews i'm going to explain everything how to do it step by step in this course i think that's the only one i want to tell you there are other ways to get reviews for free but i'm sorry this is the only one i want to tell you you can go and be practicing this one but if you want to learn more about how to get reviews for your books to make you stand out and give you social proof so you can make more sales you would need to click the link in the description down below to subscribe to this mentorship as fast as you can before the price increases apart from the free ways apart from the five free ways that i want to teach you there are some premium ways to get reviews first one is by using pobby.co this website helps you get reviews it says get five to ten reviews every week for your book although you need to pay but you have 30 days free trial i'm going to leave the link in the description down below so that you can click join and start getting reviews for your book all you need to do is to upload your book so that the the review team will access your book go through it and if it is eligible they will tell you that your book is eligible for review so you can list it for all the books that should have review and then there are a lot of people that can review books here it's a review sharing site so your books will get review you can get up to 
10 reviews from the free method if you know how to do it after 30 days if you don't have money to subscribe you can now decide to opt out of the subscription plan after 30 days you will need to sorry 10 days i'm sorry sorry after 10 days you will need to then pay 20 dollar every month to have access to all these reviews but i tell you it is worth it if you can do it Another site where you can get free reviews is this website called Freebooksy. This is a website where you just come, depending on the type of book you upload, can be self-help, can be cookbook, it can be business, it can be romance, it can be fiction, non-fiction. They accept all types of books. And once you do that, you come here, you select a package to 100 or $200. Depending on what you can pay, you now have access to your book being listed here to get reviews. People will read your book, but make sure that if you are using free book C, your book must be free on Amazon, okay? So that you have added it to free promotion for the time that you want to run this review on this website. So you pay them as here and they would put your book out to all their email subscribers, then your book can be read and reviewed by them. Another place where you can get review is Bargain Booksy. Bargain Booksy is an extension of free booksy. With this, you have to pay. As you can see the prices here, if your book is thriller, if your book is romance, if your book is, let's look for a book that we can relate with. Okay, non-fiction. If your book is a cookbook, you will need to pay $30 for them to list your book on the Bargain Booksy email list now if they do this these are people that spend money to buy books this is for only kindle books and your book price must not exceed 4.99 dollars everything for five dollar above they will not accept it and they will not refund you so before you put your book on bargain booksy you must make sure that you've reduced the book price to 4.99 or below so if your book is a self-help book you will pay 35 dollar for them to help you promote your book to their audience if it's any other non-fiction maybe business and money travel guide you would pay 30 dollars for them to promote your book to their audience or their list. When their list buys your book, they can always give you reviews. Another place where you can get review is Book Sprout. This is the only site as at now that does reviews for paperback books. All other sites are always doing for Kindle, but for this site, they will do for paperback. This means that people here can buy your book and then review it. This is what Book Sprout does. I'm going to explain more of these websites in Module 10, where we talk about Book Launch. Book Launch is a comprehensive course on its own, and I'm going to teach everything about book launching for you to start making instant sales after your book goes live. Now, I want to leave you with some final words that can still help you make a lot of sales, but they are not free or some of them are even still free but this video is already too long i don't want to keep explaining them but in the course i explain everything in depth the first one is email marketing if you really want to do amazon kdp for long term you need to have an email list an email list where you can nurture your leads nurture your buyers or nurture everyone who is interested in seeing books but from you because they will join the email list by themselves you can always send them weekly newsletters and then whenever you launch a new book you can send it to them the benefit is that you make instant sales and you also get instant reviews because they are already part of your community or your family online another method to increase your sales is to put your book in series if you have books in the same type of category let's say you have travel guides for european countries like you have 10 travel guides for different european countries or different cities in europe you can compile everything and put it inside a series such that if somebody wants to buy one they can have access to more of other books other travel guides from the same locations this can also be done with cookbooks where you have different types of books let's say you have kidney dialysis diet cookbook kidney dialysis smoothies cookbook dressing for kidney health air fryer kidney diet cookbook you know all these books are related to kidney health you can have all of them inside a series such that if somebody wants to buy one they can have access to other ones and decide maybe they will buy or not another one i'm going to tell you that i thought intensively inside the course is social media you can have instagram facebook twitter tiktok 
page and even Pinterest for your book or your publishing business such that you can get buyers or readers or customers from any of these social media websites, especially TikTok. In another video, I'm going to show you how I evaluate four different authors on Amazon with their TikTok pages and how they are making a lot of sales and reviews from their TikTok. If somebody sees them on Amazon now, they will think that, oh, these people are making a lot of sales from the Amazon platform. But no, they get a ton of their buyers through TikTok. The last but not the least that I'm going to leave you with today is sponsored ads. Once you start making money or you have spare money, you need to start running sponsored ads on your books to get a lot of sales and get a lot of reviews. I hope that is clear. Thank you very much for watching this video till this stage. Don't forget to like this video, hit the red subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so that the next time I post great videos like this, YouTube will send you instant notification and you'll be the first to watch the video and start implementing all the tips and tricks inside the video. Don't stop working, don't stop learning. I still remain legal Naira and all I do here is to help you make money online and offline. Follow me because my updates are always up to date. Thank you once again. I'll see you in the next one.